Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Watt and I'm a designer with Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Today, I'm very excited to tell you more about solo play. In addition to traditional four player co-op, our solo play mode lets you play by yourself with a team of up to three AI controlled teammates. In Garden Ops, your mission is simple. Protect the garden against the zombies. For this solo round, I'm choosing Popscorn, Electro Citron, Druid Rose, and Vampire Flower. When going it alone, the big difference is hot swapping. Pressing up or down on the D-pad allows you to switch between all of your AI-controlled teammates at any time during the match. Let's meet the squad. This is Popscorn. Pop's nifty corn cracker has an enhanced zoom, making for more accurate firing from a distance. This is Electro Citron. He's from the future. Electro Citron's Electro Charger attack arcs from one enemy to the next. You can also hold down the trigger to charge up for more massive damage. In some instances, it might be a good idea to swap to a character like Rose, who has excellent crowd control talents, like her ability to cast a zombie freezing time bubble. And let's not forget, she turns zombies into goats. Then there's Vampire Flower. Her Life Leech ability steals help from enemies and adds it to her own. Hot Swapping also lets you earn XP for all four of your characters during gameplay. All you have to do is Hot Swap to that character and you'll earn XP while you're playing as that character. You'll also earn coins, which can go towards sticker packs to unlock even more sweet goodies. This is a Boss Lots Wave. We've added brand new bosses to Garden Warfare 2. So today, say aloud Namaste to the Zen Sensei. He's small, but don't be fooled because he packs a heck of a punch. Zen Sensei can use his Zen powers to clone himself, turning this one man army into, well, an actual army. Finally, a new feature we've added to Garden Warfare 2 is crazy settings which we can check out in our fan favorite 24 player fight fest, Gardens and Graveyards. It lets you change up the game in a bunch of really wild ways, like giving the match low gravity, infinite ammo, explode on vanquish, a knockback mode, super speed, and ridiculously low health for instant vanquishes. For now, I'll choose speed boost craziness and low gravity. But remember that when you play, you can choose to switch on any of the settings or even all of them. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more Dev Diaries to come. Play it first on Xbox One with EA Access.